Welcome to the top floor of a low-rise condo building on Longboat Key in Marina Bay. This is a 3,200 square foot, three bedroom, two and a half bathroom condo built in 1990. The owners are a lovely family from New Jersey and use the property regularly throughout the year as they have family in town and well, it's a pretty good spot. Let's start the tour at the entry foyer. When you come into the unit, we wanted to create a feeling of arrival and set the tone. It's pretty expected to have a console table and a mirror when you're in somebody's foyer, but it doesn't mean it has to be boring or typical. So we made the space unique by integrating a mirror with the architecture as a paneled sheet. And the transitional console table from Robin Stuckey by Vanguard doesn't obstruct this feature. We put wallpaper on the right and left, a nice light in the ceiling and a rug on the floor, round out the space. But last, there's great natural light coming in from the window. So we added woodworking to create nooks for the owner to display her collection of glass. And we framed the view that overlooks the pool. Now let's go into the main area of the condo where the real work happened. The removing of walls, lots of demo, lots of putting Humpty Dumpty back together. Um, imagine traveling back into time into the early 1990s where small square tiles, pickled cabinets, and partial height room dividers were all the rage. We're currently in the hall that had a funky room divider screen that separated the dining room from the living room, the office, the hall to the guest bedroom, and nothing was load bearing. So we took it all down and we were able to open the space up. So since it's a condo, there were limits on what we could do with the ceiling, which impacts the lighting. So we dropped a soffit over the glass extension, dining table and chairs from Caligaris. And that allowed for a tape light to be added for a soft glow. And then we added a custom chandelier from Israel. We decided to build in the rear wall to anchor the space and highlight a bar function. The large Sub-Zero wine cooler is in the middle and it's flanked by base cabinets and decorative backlit storage for wine. The countertop's granite, so we went with a chiseled edge for another unique element. Turning back to the third bedroom, we removed the walls and we added a really cool glass enclosure with delicate metal banding. And big thank you to Fox Mirror and Glass and our contractor Greg Kaplan for nailing it. The homeowners and their children often work out of this space, so they wanted to have it open and connected, and they wanted to use borrowed light between the spaces. The sofa pulls out into a bed so guests can stay there as well, but primarily it's an office. The hall between the dining room and the office leads to the guest wing, a large bedroom and a nice bathroom. But before we get there, let's stop for a minute and check out the bookcase. It's not really a bookcase, it's a door. And at the bottom, there's a little panel that flips up. It gives access for the cat to go in where the litter box is. Very clever. Back to the guest wing, here we are at the bathroom. We added a rich wood tone cabinet to contrast the light porcelain tile floors that flow throughout the condo. And we put an accent tile behind the sink and it's a blue tile that for me is bold and soothing at the same time. Into the guest bedroom. It's a really wide room and they wanted the ability to sleep multiple people. We have two queen beds. They are joined by an upholstered headboard. The panels are metallic leather from Vant panels. And this was a very affordable way to add a lot of bang for our buck so we could allocate our resources, money, to other spaces. Speaking of other spaces, let's go to the living room. This is a large space and illuminating it without adding recessed can lights was a challenge, but we wanted to do something more unique. So I came across this product uh, from Pure Edge. It is a recessed linear LED fixture that finishes flush with the drywall. Monica, light up your life, turned me on to it because it's displayed on her showroom floor. And she said, if you can dream it, they can do it. The linear design starts on the ceiling, folds down onto the wall. It frames the artwork above the sofa, and the art is really cool. It's from State of the Art Gallery. The sofa is large and in charge, and the chairs swivel to face the view. Their curved tops soften the lines of the space. And both are from Robin Stuckey, and it fills the space really nicely. The nesting coffee tables give scale to the middle of the room and really ground the space. So across from the sofa is a TV and fireplace. Very streamlined, very modern. The wave tile really speaks to where the condo is located in their view of the bay. It's subtle, but the dimension is really nice. Someday, we'll get both sides of the fireplace to work, but for today, use your imagination. You get the idea. It's really cool. It puts off 
steam, it has a crackle um, sound to it. It's, it's a really nice Florida fireplace. On the back side of the fireplace and TV wall is the kitchen. The space was closed, it was choppy, it had one of those like domed 1990 ceilings. So we streamlined it. We opened it up, we added a large island, there's white cabinets. The island is a really rich stained rift cut oak and that helps to ground things. So there is a secret door to the laundry room and I'll open it just a little, but you can't go in there. All of my like staging stuff is in there, but there's a laundry room in there and it's hidden and it's cool. Okay, the countertops are quartz and we did a full height backsplash with outlets on the underside of the upper cabinets. So it's really sleek and clean looking. Between the kitchen and the living room is what we call the telescope room. We call it the telescope room because that's what the previous homeowners had here. As a nod to the past, the current homeowners purchased a new telescope so they could appreciate the starry nights as well. This space doubles as an area to play cards. The table raises and lowers, so you can play cards here, but you can also play my personal favorite, backgammon. Before we go into the master suite, let's make a pit stop at the powder bathroom. We wanted a wow, and well, I think we got it. Due to the shape of the room and the toilet placement, the sink is off center. So we wanted to just run with that. We put two pendant lights off to the right and did a really simple lit mirror over a vessel sink. So since it's powder bath, you don't really need a lot of storage. So we wrapped the countertop down to be the apron. So you got more um, of a visual of the stone. And the mosaic tile on the wall has a nice sheen and it adds scale and a little bit of life, a little bit of pizzazz. All right, now on to the master. You enter through double doors to a hall that takes you right to the bedroom, left to the bathroom. The bathroom is one of my all time favorites, so we're gonna do that one last. Here's the bedroom. The view is just unbeatable, so we wanted to keep things really simple. It's clean, it's contemporary, it's a coordinating bedroom set. The most unique thing that we did was install pendant lights instead of table lamps over the nightstands. All right, here we are in the master bathroom. This space was cramped, dark, very vintage 1990. So we opened the space up for a modern spa feel. We used double glass pocketing doors for borrowed light between the spaces. And for me, marble look tile and rich wood is just really classic. So we wanted to accentuate that with cool features. So we have a steam shower. We have a TV, we have lit mirrors. And the coolest thing in the whole condo is we have a freestanding bathtub with a ceiling mounted bathtub filler. Peace out, Longboat. <laughs>